So I got a message earlier and it was about how a member of the family made some money on Carvana. So I look and she says, thanks, brother. I made some money on Carvana. And I'm like, yo, let's go, right? I'm like, yo, let's. <laughs> and then I'm thinking like, yo, you know what? Let me go and check Carvana because I remember talking about this five months ago, right? You know, I keep the receipts, baby. And it was $10. And I'm like, yo, this $10 stock is absolutely on fire. Even then it was on fire. So what we're going to do in this video, and I just want to hold up. Let's rewind. I want to take it back. And I want to say, listen, I appreciate you for considering me to be a part of your journey. I know you may have taken the options classes. You may be in the technical classes in the discord and everything like that. But remember at the end of the day, you are the one who believed in yourself. You are the one who used the information and went forward and knocked it out of the park. So I got to salute you for that. And I'm honored to be a part of your journey. And that's for anybody who's watching these videos, anybody who feel like I'm helping them in any kind of a way. I'm honored to be a part of your journey. I can never take credit for the accomplishments that you have. But just know I'm your cheerleader in the background rooting for you, family, because, again, I believe in you. But I need you to believe in yourself when you hear us talking about trades, long term investing, talking about, you know what I'm saying? Things that might be years out from now. We may be talking about getting into options. You got to believe in yourself before you could actually do it. And that's what I want to see from you, family. So now, with that being said, I was saying that Carvana, it was $10, right? And again, this was five months ago we seen it at $10, but it started running up. Now, those of you who already have learned some technicals, you see this little W right here, family? That W ain't for win, but it could be. Now, I'm talking about W-I-N. That W is a double bottom pattern, and we identified that. We we're talking about how Carvana could potentially go up even higher than it was. This is a bullish pattern when you see it looking like this. So what we said was, you know what? Let's do the technicals on it because Carvana isn't necessarily a company that we would be looking to hold for the long term. Right. We would be there for a good time, not for a long time there to make some money on it. And right now, Carvana is currently up 400 percent since we first were talking about it earlier this year. Now, look at this. We look at the levels. We say, you know what? If it breaks past this 1090, then we can see it push up to about 1190, family, right? And that's a dollar. But you know what? Now Carvana is all the way up in the $40 range, high 30s, $40 range, which means, again, it's been on fire ever since, even though the company isn't something that I will personally be looking to hold long term. I see it as more of a trade. Again, I don't want to hold on to something like that for a long time. I'd rather get in, get up, and get out. But it even surpassed the target. So I want to give a round of applause to everybody who's been subscribed to the channel, everybody who's been following along with the plays, and everybody who's made money here. I want to give you a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, clap it up, baby, clap it up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And I want to say our target was, and I said this, and I want you to pay close attention. I'm going to even zoom in because we've been talking about Carvana for some time that, you know what? If it holds above $22, then we can see it go between 30 and 38. And Carvana has blown past even the targets. How do these things happen? Because this is the technical range that it was telling me it could go to. You know what happens? Sometimes things will happen with inflation. That'll help it to pump up. If inflation is looking a little bit better, even if they're cooking the books, you have the FOMO buyers, the fear of missing out. Oh, I don't want to miss out. They running into. Sometimes even the institutions are late to the party and slow to the show. So then we know where to go. And that's to the finish line, baby. And it's looking like Carvana could be potentially running out of steam. I seen another family member basically wrote to me. They said, Keenan, look, I got in a Carvana back when it was $10, when it was $7. What do I do? In this case, you know what? Homeworks. This is some homework for you. What would you do, family, if you, not that you give a financial advice, but let me know in the comments. If you got into something like Carvana and you see it now at $41, and I see it coming down a little bit right here. So by the time you see it, it may be in the 30s, like the high 30s, when I'm going to give you the levels on it too. But here's your homework. I want you to answer this. Somebody said, Keenan, I got in at $10. I got in at $7. When should I exit? When should I basically take profit on it? Let me know what you would do in the comments, family. That's your homework. I want you to give some game because I know you've been watching the videos. I know you've been picking up the game. You know what I would do. You know how I would rock out with this. Let me know so then I could come and put a heart on that family because, again, each one teach one and i bet at this point since you've been following along with the journey you have a wealth of information yourself and i'm proud of you for that so now i want to take a look at this the options we were just talking about the options 
Remember how Carvana went from $10 to $40 and that's up like 400% in like a few months? Family, there are people playing the options who are up 225% in a day. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn these skills. Again, join the Discord. Like I already told you, I got the best prices and the best information combined into one. I feel like it's a win-win. When you could see me trading on a live stream, you could join the classes and do it at your own pace and then have the automated alert bots in there. Family, I'm telling you, listen, a win-win. I help you win and we all win together. That's, that's how a family should be. That's why I call y'all family. It's straight up and down like that. But again, come and learn the options. And I tell you this, believe in yourself. I know that it could seem complicated. I know that it could seem complex. But if you don't put the effort in to say, you know what, I feel like I could give this a shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to bet on myself. Then that's how you actually move forward. When you first get blessed with the with the idea in your own mind to say, hmm, you know what? I think I could do this. Let's say that you wanted to be a singer. You wanted to be a an athlete. Let's say you wanted to be a rapper. Let's say you wanted to be an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer. It had to be inside of you first before anybody else could see it. You understand what I'm saying? So if you don't see it for yourself, how are other people going to see it? You got to see yourself saying, you know what? I'm going to have my first $10,000 in my life. I'm going to have my first $50,000. i am going to have my first $100,000. i am going to have my first million. I'm going to have my first billion. And I know these things might sound crazy to you, but guess what? It shouldn't. It shouldn't sound crazy to you. You got to believe it first. We already seen these things happen to other people. Why can't it happen to you? Do you even believe it? Deep down, I want you to really think. Do you believe, honestly, that you will get $10,000? You never had it. That you will get $100,000, you never had it. That you will get a million dollars, you never had it. That you could get a billion dollars, you never had it. Yeah, nah, you know what? Maybe a hundred thousand, but a billion. Family, it happened. I've seen it happen to other people. Why not you? You got to believe it first. Remember that. So now, you got to make sure that you are learning skills in order to get there. It won't just happen by accident. Now, one of the skills that I always try to let you know is since there are people who are already billionaires, there are people who are already running trillion dollar companies, what are they doing in the stock market? So then we want to look even at current stocks, any stock. We could even use Carvana as an example. So we look at Carvana, the analysts who are working for these billion, multi-billion, multi-trillion dollar companies. They're saying that the max it could hit is about 50. This don't mean that they're right, but this means that hmm, up there, they're very likely to try to push it back now. So it looked like Carvana could be running out of some steam in the near future. But we want to look at the levels. What can happen towards the downside? What can happen towards the upside? Now, they're saying that it's worth about $16, again, which sounds generally like it makes sense. Why? Because Carvana is not a profitable company. They're not really bringing in a lot of money like that. And their business model is kind of shaky when you really look at it. But the stock is not the same as the company. So the stock is running up. But that's why I see the stock as a trade and not a long term investment. And then they're saying, again, one dollar price target look at this one dollar that's insane they say you know what this thing gonna do come on down <laughs> you're the next contestant on the price is right they say it's on gonna down. come on down you're hold up not not again not again they saying it's gonna come on down but remember the short sellers in these types of things they know the retail investors rush to certain things so they're not really looking at the levels but i got your back on that i want you to always pay attention to the level now carvana again like i was saying it's coming down in price it was 40 now it's 39 now it's 38 but look at this the target, and I tell you these things, you can take a screenshot of this so you know what to think about. And I can't tell you to buy, hold, or sell. I can just tell you what the charts are telling me. Like I always tell you, I trade with the chart, not with my heart. Take a look at this. If it holds under 38, this is telling me that, oh, it's very likely to come down according to the technicals to 35. And I can ride that wave on the put options. If you don't understand that, again, join the Discord. I'm telling you. It's going to be one of the best decisions that you made. You come and join the Discord and you pick up the information, the skills that can pay the bills. Now, I'm looking to ride the wave down. Okay, but we don't want to just be perma bears, aka thinking everything is going to drop and never come back up. What about towards the upside? Oh, if it holds above 42, then it could go on the technicals to about 45, a little bit under that. But remember, if you're running it up and it keeps going up, this is when we use our trailing stop losses and then we make more money even than we expect it. But you got to know how to do these things, family. It's so important to learn these skills. Now, I do want to say, this is what I want you to keep your eye on. Let's hold up. Let's slow down. And it's the volume, aka how many of these shares are being traded in a day. And when you look at it, the average volume is 25 million. But today it was 72 million. 
if you start to see that volume come down to 60 million, 50 million, you got to say, yo, hold up. Is Carvana going to keep running? Stop the cap. If the volume coming down, family, it's very likely, according to the charts and everything else, all the indicators, that it will be coming down if you start to see this volume die down. Now, other than that, I got to let you know, inflation came in at 3%. That is 12 consecutive declines in inflation, family, meaning that the market has the opportunity to pump up all of the big tech stocks, all of the other big companies that aren't tech stocks, and then penny stock season is looking like it's basically around the corner. But again, those are trades. You got to know what you're doing. Join the Discord if you want to go ahead and learn how we getting busy and how to actually understand what's, what you're looking at here when you see the S&P 500. You want to understand these things, family? Join the Discord. We got your back. Then you know what time it is with that. Now, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hit the Moomoo link in the description as well if you want to get some free stocks and support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.